Hey, good morning. It's Wednesday, June 9th. Tip of the Grant Sound Advice Coffee Cup to you this morning. I hope you're having a wonderful week so far. And uh, thanks for joining me on a Wednesday morning. It is, like I said, the 9th of June. It is looking like a beautiful day outside. We had a lot of weather here yesterday, a couple thunderstorms. It was interesting in a conversation with a friend. Um, we got hammered right where I live and like three miles north uh, driving to an event last night. The roads were dry. It had not rained there. And it's that realization that sometime the rain has to stop. It has to have an edge. Uh, when I was younger, we drove out west a lot, and you, you could see where you were going to drive into it, and you knew it had to start somewhere, and it's just always one of those realizations to experience that. Uh, I had a thought <clears throat> this morning about collections, and uh, not those kind of collections. There's no bill collectors on my doorstep, as far as I know. Um, the collections we gather uh, in our homes, uh, I know people that gather clothes and sewing machines and paraphernalia of all kinds and record players and models and records and and yeah I could go on and on and on and on and by gosh there's a group on social media for you um, but that's not really what this is about I love building lamps I've messed with electricity and lamps for a long 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 time and when I lived in Virginia before, I had the, um, the ability to get to a lot of salvage and so started building some lamps out of salvage. And I've built, uh, built them out of a, a, a syrup pump, like out of an old five and dime, a carburetor, wine bottles. Uh, I like doing different stuff. And if you ever want to see it, go to Mr. Lamp It, M-R-L-A-M-P-I-T, Mr. Lamp It.com. Anyhow, that's not what this is about. But as I was building lamps, I slowly but surely bought stuff to build lamps from. You'd see, I'd see somebody on uh, one of the sales sites that would, you know, be offering so many switches or sockets or wire or whatever, and I'd buy it because you could usually buy it cheap and why not have it? You're going to use it eventually. Eventually is the problem. Life changes. Um, when I purchased this house two and a half years ago, uh, I moved all my stuff into the basement. I well, not all my stuff. I moved stuff into the house. My lamp building stuff into the basement. Built a really nice nice workbench because well, I'm a guy. I need a workbench, and I've not built a lamp since. Pretty much not built a lamp since. And I've got all this stuff to build lamps. I've got parts. I've got pieces. I've got sockets. I've got wire. I've got switches. I've got stuff. I've got shades. I could probably build five or six lamps right now if I just went downstairs. Life changes. And right now, first of it was just getting the house under control. I bought an 80-year-old house that I knew from day one was going to need a lot of work. Well, that lot of work put lamp building off to the side. Building this new business, put lamp building off to the side. Uh, messing with my motorcycle, put lamp building off to the side. Dancing. And right now I'm wondering, will I ever build another lamp? I'm sure I will, but part of me has said, why don't you sell that stuff and get some money? Well, quite frankly, I'll be one of those guys that I bought it from and sell it for not much money. And for what I have in it, I might as well keep it until... So maybe my kids will get to deal with it someday. I just think it's interesting how we collect and then all of a sudden in our mind something switches. And a couple friends and I have talked about this where uh, when I lived in Florida, there was something I did and I don't remember what now. And I did it every day. And when I moved here, I just didn't do it. And it wasn't like a conscious decision of I'm not going to do X. Life changes. So I hope you embrace life changes as you can. It's, uh, it's just interesting to me how our psychological stuff works. And, um, well, that's it. That's all I got. Changes in, in uh, collections. If you'd like and subscribe, I'd appreciate it. Uh, share with a friend. And uh, hit my music video channel, music review channel, Music of Distinction. I just posted a new video this morning uh, about uh, Eric Clapton's Have You Ever Loved a Woman? great blue song and if you get a chance go check it out and uh, have a great Wednesday 
from Southwest Virginia, 